Greetings Internet, DDA here and I'm feeling a lot better today. Welcome to week 12 of my card of the week. Last week was Orange Style, Orange Guardian Drill. If you didn't get a chance to see that video, please click on the link. This week I'm a little sad because I didn't get my set two cards in, so I'm not going to be able to show you the actual card of the week this week, but I'll pretend that I'm showing it to you. So this week, I heard your pleas, Internet, and I like how you think, so I chose Red City Destruction. And this card has an effect, power. Use a critical damage effect. Your anger cannot be lowered by critical damage effects this turn. Until the start of your next turn, your effects that require you to lower your anger are reduced by 1 to a minimum of 0. Now I'm really excited about this card, because this card's effect is exactly what Red needed to kind of bring everything together from set 1, and uh, you know, support it in set two and really cause red style to flourish. For its offense, you're gonna see right away that this does a critical damage effect. And anything that just allows you to do a critical damage effect in combat is a really powerful offensive ability. That single effect becomes so much more when you consider stealing Dragon Ball 7, Dragon Ball 5, or Dragon Ball 3. Even if you don't have anything in your hand that's gonna play off of any of the other effects of this card, you can hold that critical damage effect in your hand to use at an opportune moment. Your opponent might be working towards a level, gaining anger slowly, and playing his hand a certain way to maximize his damage potential. Using an automatic crit mid-combat may just foil all of his plans. Allies are kind of running rampant right now. The ally abilities that are coming out are really strong. So critical damage is something that's going to be sought after by every deck. Of course, with the Red Style Mastery, since you're doing a critical damage effect, you're going to get an anger from that. Once you consider its reduction of your anger costing abilities, it can actually net you a ton of anger in combat. Activate three abilities that cost you anger, suddenly you have three more anger than you would have had normally. You're not going to really see the potential of this card unless you start utilizing it with the, uh, the cards that actually cost anger. And this goes even doubly for offense. The only offensive ability it has is that crit effect. However, it's going to take some cards from set 1 and make them much better than they were before. Consider red heating beams. It didn't gain anger, and it only did 3 life cards of damage, so it had no potential to do critical damage. A card draw ability is always useful, and it's even more useful when it doesn't cost you anything. Both red palm strike and red stomach dive are going to add damage to your attacks by activating their abilities. Red palm strikes is only for villains, however in tandem with this card, it essentially means your opponent cannot use endurance. You see City Destruction earlier, Red Stomach Dive means that you're going to be pushing out a ton of damage that combat. Plus two life cards of damage to all your attacks, headshots left and right. Headshot, headshot, headshot. My hands are shaking, my hands are shaking, but I'm still getting headshots. Bam, headshot. So for these reasons, I'm going to give this card a 3.5 out of 5 for offense. It can really net you a lot of anger. And all of those red style abilities that only require one anger to activate, you get for free. However, if you're just not drawing those effects, this card is almost dead in your hand. Next up, for defense, you're going to see right away that this has an extremely powerful ability. For the remainder of the turn, when you play this card, no critical damage is going to be able to lower your anger. This is a huge hole in the red style. They're not preventing any damage that's coming at them. They're going to be taking crits left and right, and that sucks. If you ever play red style, you feel like you're in a constant race between, you know, doing critical damage, gaining you anger, and taking critical damage and lowering your anger. For many styles and many decks out there, they they solely rely on critical damage to be their anti-anger. Using this effect in the beginning of the combat means that you can just sit back and let the damage roll in. Sure, you might be dying, but hey, you're going to win by MPPV. There are just as many cards that have effects that you can activate with reduced anger costs with this card. Red Club is another ability that only costs one anger to activate, and even better, it stays on you until you change levels. In theory, you're only going to be changing levels three times in a game, so this could be 30% of your game. A red city destruction with red club means that all of your opponent's attacks are going to be prevented by two. Well, there's my endurance. Once you start adding in other abilities like red back kick and red shielded strike, you can start stopping all the attacks by only reducing your anger by two. Three anger is a ton and hard to do in combat, especially early on when you would want to use an ability like stopping all attacks. Red forward stance drill means you can stop any attack free of cost. Red drill decks, guys, it's a thing. The big downside with this card for your defense is that it's a combat card. You're gonna have to play it during combat. Well, 
We know it's a combat card, DDA. What are you trying to get at here? Not only are you going to have to take up an attack phase in combat by using this effect, but then any effect that you actually want to use, you'll have to use after it. So if your opponent enters on you and performs an attack, defensively, you're giving him a free phase to be able to lower your anger. Additionally, when talking defensively about some of the effects like red back kick and red shielded strike, you're going to require two phases to actually activate that ability at a reduced cost. By the time you get to activate the ability, he may have already played all his physical or energy attacks. And for these reasons, I'm going to give this card a 4.5 out of 5 for defense. This card's interactions defensively with all the cards that I mentioned, and additionally with counter cards like Red Lightning Slash, makes it an extremely viable add to your deck. The thing that takes this card from a fairly decent card to a card that deck archetypes will be built around is the fact that you're not going to be lowering your anger from critical damage. And finally, for combo potential, the key word that I want you to think of when you think of this card is the train. That is, running the train on your opponent. You all know that the main effect of this card is reducing the anger that it costs to activate your effects. Once you use this card, you're going to be able to run the train on your opponent and be able to activate a bunch of effects that you would otherwise not be able to activate. And let's not forget that this effect lasts until the start of your next turn. That means going on the offensive with this card is actually both an offensive and a defensive action. Combo! Enter on your opponent, start with this card, and lay down all the hate on him. Then, when combat is over and it's his turn, he would be crazy to enter on you. Unless, of course, the combat really didn't go as planned. The point is with this card is it doesn't just help you in one combat. It's going to help you in maybe two combats. And unlike Red Embarrassing Drill, while its advantage is you can let it sit out and use selectively to reduce the uh, total effect to zero, this card's advantage is it has multiple effects that help you in combat, as well as affecting all the effects you're activating rather than just one. And for that reason, its combo potential is going to be really high. The number of cards it's going to affect is going to be much more than just one card. A lot of people asked in set one, what am I supposed to do with all these cards that lower my anger? We asked for the reason and we got it with this card. Now there are going to be two types of red decks that are going to emerge. There are going to be the red decks that try to go for MPPV, and then there are going to be the red decks that try to go for survival victory. This card is a very survival card. While this card does help you gain anger a little bit, you're losing a card that could possibly have gained you two or three anger by using the an event card in combat. And you're, the reason you're using that card is to help you combo with other cards that you have in your hand. One of the big cards that you're going to see affected by this card is Red Heel Kick. Under the effects of this card, Red Heel Kick can activate itself. And then just start opening up the, the combos as you quickly snag that red heating beams that you can use for free. Or the red stomach dive that's going to make all your attacks hit like a truck. The big problem with this card, much like it is for offense, is that you're going to need other things in combat to activate it. And for these reasons, I'm going to give this card a 4 out of 5 for combo potential. This card makes it easier for you to run the train on your opponent, but it does not start your combo and it does not push your combo forward. It merely makes it easier or lowers your activation energy, if you will. Adding up the scores gives this card a total of 12 out of 15. This is a really strong card, and like I said earlier, it is going to be the backbone of an entire deck archetype, much like Orange Guardian Drill will be. There are a lot of red style cards that cost anger to activate, and I can only imagine that those effects will increase as time goes on. So I hope you like week 12 of my card of the week segment. Next week is Saiyan style, so if you have an idea of what Saiyan style card I should review, please comment in the comment section below. And as always, turn your dial to Random Number Gaming for weekly updates for the Dragon Ball Z card game.